Hey, GED students, it's GED question of the daytime. And I have, again, this really what looks like a simple little word problem that tricks about 99% of GED students. And this is exactly the kind of reasoning that the GED test likes to include. So let's take a look at it. Now, I have good news today. And that is that when you have word problems on the GED, you do have a calculator. So if this exact problem came up on the GED, you would have a calculator. Okay, let's take a look. It says, yesterday, Jack's account balance was negative $42. You guys, Jack was in trouble. He had less than no money. He owed the bank some money. He owed the bank $42. His account was in the negative. Now, today, it is $348. And notice this phrase, how much more money does Jack have today than he did yesterday? Now, a lot of GED students are, are good with this comparing two numbers, how much more, how much less. They know that whether I say how much more or how much less, I'm supposed to subtract. GED students don't usually struggle with that. But what they do struggle with is the subtraction concept when negative numbers get involved. Be careful. This is negative 42. Let's look at what happens if I subtract. So if I'm looking for how much more money, I'm looking for the difference. I am subtracting, but remember that you want your difference to be positive. So I should start with the bigger number. So $348 is the bigger number. And from that, I need to subtract. Now, careful, guys. Don't you dare just write minus 42. You did not just subtract negative 42. You just subtracted 42. He didn't have a balance of $42 yesterday. He had a balance of negative $42 yesterday. You need to subtract negative 42. And you say to me, Kate, I don't know how to do that. Well, your GED calculator does. You sure can type that in there. You'll type 348. You'll type the minus button, and then you'll type the negative button, which is down at the bottom by enter, and then 42. And you're going to see something super interesting if you type that in your number is going to get bigger. Yes, indeed. In fact, that's a $390 difference. And you say, Kate, that doesn't make sense. I thought we were subtracting. Guys, we're subtracting a negative number. If you've done any work with negatives, you know that subtracting a negative or the opposite of subtraction is addition. Two minuses in a row turn into a plus. Why? Because positive numbers are really far away from negative numbers. If you want to look at the difference between them, it's going to be a big difference. Okay, so 348 plus 42 gives me a difference of $390. So I don't care if you do this in your calculator or you do this using the uh, rules of computation with subtracting negative numbers. We are still going to get a $390 difference. He has $390 more today than he did yesterday. All right. If you have any questions about this or any other GED math concept, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.